Hey, this is Commander Bacon with His Way Homestead, and we are out in the quail cage area. Going to show you what we're doing to make some improvements to the quail cages. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the issue. We've got ducks that like to fly and roost high, and they'll come in. Whoop. <laughs> knocking stuff over but they'll come in they'll sit up here and they'll reach in here and eat the quail food well the quail food's a lot more expensive and i don't want to feed the ducks quail food high protein uh i want the quail to eat the quail food not the ducks eat the quail food we also have had like little sparrows and even crows come in and sit there and eat the quail feed so what we're doing today uh what i had i just put boards over top of them just to block them but uh, these ducks are smart and they started knocking those boards off and still eating the food so what I did I went and got some piano hinges and I just hinged this board ducks can't knock it off and they can't eat the food and it shouldn't make a big difference so that's what we're doing today we're gonna go ahead so I had like a, a 12 inch uh, piano hinge and I cut it in half because uh, it was cheaper that way and then just screw it just use those boards it doesn't have to be anything fancy i'm not going to use prime boards these boards were um scraps off pallets one of the few things you can actually do and make good use of pallets I'm not a big fan of pallet projects uh so that that's what we're doing um pretty important update uh i hope you guys uh uh do this incorporate this and uh in a little bit i'll show you what we do with these J feeders to keep the quail from wasting the food in it. So stay tuned for that. All right, so there you go. There's the, uh, got two of them in. Just wanna see how easy it is to still feed them. It's gonna be, oh yeah, look at that. It makes it real easy. Let's show it again over here. Just use the scoop, lift it up dump it in flick it back down i'm gonna go ahead and feed some of these get rid of the feed that's in the scoop so i think that's going to work really good really really well and hopefully the uh, ducks will not be able to flip that lid up <laughs> they're pretty smart though um they're driving me crazy uh they actually um go Somehow they get out of the cage, they go fly over to the pond every morning and then fly back and then wait for us to let them back in the cage. Or they jump up on top of the netting and find the gap that we have in there and then they um, they crawl down through that, which it's stretching our net out like crazy. So anyway, let me show you the feeders. Hopefully these, these birds won't jump out. So let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the camera around. This should be a lot easier. All right. So there's the quail, here's the feeder. And you can see right here, I use some, some of this uh, one by one wire and right here and here on each end, I drilled a small little hole and also zip tied, I drilled a hole through here and zip tied these on the ends down so what this does the quail have to reach through that with their head eat the food and it keeps them from slinging it everywhere so let's look on the inside of this so if you look on the inside right here there's that wire that sticks up through and i just bent it see you just bend it and it stays in place um, i actually saw this on another youtube channel I think it's Caternic's Corner. Um, I'm not sure, but it was really good. So I um, just want to pass that information along to y'all. I think it's, it's um, you know, quail wasting food is, is a big problem. And I know everybody's always asking about how to make a feeder, a quail feeder that keeps you from, keeps the quail from wasting food. Now here's another one that we did. This is PVC pipe. 
And then if you look, it's got PVC pipe through this uh, little plastic storage container, like a little shoebox thing. And that works good. And we use that in the brooder, but I really like the J feeders better. I think they're, um, they're easier to load up. And we actually had, <laughs> there's cat. <laughs> Don't know what he's doing in here. But we actually had a uh, quail get stuck inside of there and die before. So I'm not a big fan of that either. Um, I do like the J feeders and probably with this brooder cage here, we'll probably get one J feeder eventually and mount it in there. I think that, I think it's a much better way to do it. So that's all we got today for a quail. The cat's going to love on me. Aren't you Bucky? This is Bucky. His, his brother is Captain America. So if you know any of the Avengers series, you understand that those two names and they do fight just like Bucky and Captain America at times. But anyway, that's all we got today. I uh, just wanted to give you an update on uh, the improvements I'm making to the quail cages to keep the ducks and the chickens and any other feathered fowl varmints from eating the uh, quail food because quail food is expensive. So that's all I got. Don't forget, his way is the best way. We'll see you next time. God bless.